After Texas gave up only 31 points to Houston Christian last week, I was already writing a script for this current video, which was going to be focused on Texas's defense and how it looks like one of the best units in the country. But then I saw Gonzaga on the schedule, and I remembered what happened last year when these teams played, with the Zags winning the game 86-74 and Drew Timmy scoring 37 points. As someone who bet on Texas in that game last year, I decided to rein myself in a bit before lauding the Texas defense, knowing what could happen if Gonzaga had a similar night. Luckily, with the game in the brand new Moody Center and with a better Texas team in year two of the Chris Beard era, my inkling about this Longhorn defense was correct, and Gonzaga was totally stifled as they lost 93-74 and committed 20 turnovers. For the record, the last time Gonzaga committed 20 or more turnovers was on November 19th, 2018 against Illinois. And you probably weren't even watching that game because it was the same night as a 105-point shootout between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Rams. The point is that Gonzaga doesn't look that frazzled on offense very often, and I think a lot of that is due to the Texas defense. And while I doubt the Longhorns will put up 94 points and hit 13 threes in every Every game they play this year, I do think that this defense is here to stay. So let's get a better grip on what makes this Longhorn defense so tough to play against. The first thing that stands out about Texas's defense is how active they are in passing denials. The guards, specifically Marcus Carr and Tyrese Hunter, are committed to not letting their man touch the ball in the flow of the offense and it made Gonzaga a lot more stagnant than what we're used to seeing. Watch here how Marcus Carr prevents Rasir Bolton from getting the ball in a DHO, which leads to Gonzaga forcing a pass to Drew Timmy, which sails out of bounds for a turnover. Sometimes Texas does over-deny, but that's okay because teammates are usually there to recover and stop any action. If we take a look at this play again, you'll see that Marcus Carr actually gets back cut by Nolan Hickman here, but Brock Cunningham rotates over and stops Hickman's momentum, thus allowing Carr to get back into the play and force a steal. These hard denies on passing lanes also lead to a lot of steals and deflections. Here it's Serge Jabari Rice sticking with Julian Strother and using his long arms to force a tie-up in the backcourt. And here it's five-star freshman Dylan Mitchell blowing up a pass on the perimeter, which leads to a Gonzaga scramble and ultimately an empty possession. Texas is also smart situationally as well, and this is usually the hallmark of an experienced and old team. Watch how Serge Jabari Rice recognizes that Drew Timmy is one-on-one -on -one against Christian Bishop and immediately slides over to help, forcing a turnover. But this experience also is rubbing off on the younger guys. Watch here how freshman Artario Morris recognizes that there's only five seconds left on the shot clock and immediately digs down to trap Drew Timmy, forcing him into a travel. But sometimes Texas does get burned. Like here when Texas doubles Drew Timmy in the post, but Tyrese Hunter leaves the opposite block too early, leading to an easy Timmy pass for a dunk. For the most part though, Texas is extremely disciplined defensively, and this shines in how they can test the rim as a team. You'll rarely see them make mistakes in regards to verticality, and when they do, it's usually the impressive kind of mistakes that you'll live with, like this insane Dylan Mitchell goaltending call. But seriously, watch how high and how straight these Texas big men jump when contesting shots at the rim. This elite micro skill allows Texas to draw charges and avoid fouls on the defensive end. Here's world-class athlete Dylan Mitchell giving a phenomenal example. Like seriously, how is anybody supposed to get a good shot off when facing defense like this? This defense helps Texas out a ton on the offensive end, as their intensity allows for loads of fast break opportunities that lead to momentum changing plays. Like this one, where Marcus Carr's relentless ball pressure forces Rasir Bolton to give up the rock, and then he dives on the floor to pass it to Serge Abari Rice, and then that happened. And for a team that struggled with half-court offense and shooting last year and early this season, they can use all the easy buckets they can get. By forcing turnovers at an elite rate, having extreme discipline, and taking full advantage of transition opportunities, Texas has cemented itself as one of the sport's most exciting teams so far. And with a defense this good, this early, I expect the Longhorns to be a major player moving forward in 2023. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, and give me your thoughts below.